incredible that we're still talking about the man. You knew him better than most. Uh, do you think he's been fairly done by by the book and the film? I've only seen bits of it. I haven't seen the film yet, but uh, uh, the family weren't very happy about it, and uh, I haven't seen the film. So, but I've seen clips, and some of it's true to life, and some of it's fiction as well. I think. I think what happened a few years ago, and if you can remember, we sat in Dubai large group of people and they were just read the book and they're all talking about the book and we sat there and thinking well five percent is that's right and a little bit of that should be in this story and that story is there that's quite on the ball but it was like a mixture of everything that everyone's heard over the years and sort of been put together but you would like to think that a man who achieved so much and what he did was incredible with provincial teams and tony oh, woodcock oh. <laughs> <laughs> provincial teams <laughs> I was going to say average players. Luckily, yeah, I didn't. Uh, th he would have a better legacy than this. But you remember, it's 44 days that's we're talking about. Only the, a little part of his life, really. Tony and I had him for how many? Yeah. 12 years in the end. Seemed like, seem like 50 sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so there are a few more stories and little anecdotes that we can add to anything, really. Just give us one. I just want to. Oh, no. The technique of the man, the skill <laughs> of the man. He's got you in the dressing room before a European Cup final. How does he galvanise the team? What was his trick? <laughs> well, if they say, do you want a cup of tea first of all, right, or do you want a beer? And we say, no, boss, you take your mind off it, yeah? And I think one of the stories I can remember is that we're playing in um, the League Cup final, playing Southampton, and we go in at half-time 1-0, and my thoughts were, oh, he's going to start now, he's going to, you know, the walls are going to shake and everything. So we're going at Wembley, and he looks at everyone and says, sit down, lads, don't worry. When you get the ball, I want you to pass it to a red shirt. Nothing else. Don't even think about passing it or doing something with it, whether it's in your peripheral vision or in front of you, pass it to a red shirt. That's all he said and that's what we did. We got back into the game, started playing and we ended up 3-1 in front and I think they scored a good last, last minute goal to make it 3-2 and we picked the cup up. Thank you very much.